The Forest is the Path, the new studio album from Scottish and Northern Irish band Snow Patrol is a lush, emotional, and sometimes scathing record about the hard side of relationships, but it comes out hopeful on the other side. Let's break it all down on this edition of Rock Album Review. Hey everybody, it's Nick here with you. Welcome back to the channel. The Forest is the Path is the eighth studio album from Scottish and Northern Irish band Snow Patrol. It is the follow-up to 2018's Wildness. And you tell him you love him, but you don't really know. But it seems like the perfect thing to say before you go. And I first got into Snow Patrol back in 2003 uh, on their record, Final Straw, which was a huge record for me uh, back in my university days. Love that album. So many great songs on there. Uh, How to Be Dead, uh, Chocolate, Spitting Games, Run. That is a classic Snow Patrol record. Even if you cannot hear my voice, I'll be right beside you, dear. And I'm familiar with the follow-up to Final Straw, which was called Hands Open, another great record from them. Uh, Chasing Cars is on that record, which I think is Snow Patrol's biggest hit uh, to date. It also includes uh, You're All I Have and the title track uh, Hands Open. But other than that, I have to admit that I haven't listened to any Snow Patrol in at least a decade. So clear now that you are all that I have if I lay here If I just lay Would you lie with me and just forget the world? And for me, Snow Patrol are associated with a lot of the great bands from the UK that I know and love, uh, like Feeder, Coldplay, Travis, Embrace, just a certain era of British rock from the late 90s going into the early and mid 2000s. Uh, and bands that have actually released a lot of new music in 2024. I would have to say that most of the ba those bands have either released a new album in 2024 or uh, do have a new album coming out this year. So I have not listened to at least a decade's worth of Snow Patrol records, although I do know that one of the members of Snow Patrol is in a relationship with Courtney Cox. So he's with a real life friend. And I have to say, as a casual Snow Patrol fan, somebody who hasn't listened to a lot of their new material over the last decade, I thought The Forest is the Path was a really enjoyable record. It was a really enjoyable listen um, from front to back. And I was really impressed with the quality of the songwriting and the production. Lyrically, relationships, I would say, is the major theme of the lyrics that uh, Gary Lightbody is singing on this record right from the first track all uh, he sings this is not a love song so you know right from that first track that this album is gonna be talking about some serious relationship shit this is not a love song i'm just checking that you light so long and those love relationship based lyrics only get more intense towards the end of the album on songs like Never Really Tire, where Lightbody is singing Fuck Your Horizon. So that's very serious. And these lies where he's singing that love is just pain in reverse. That actually made me really think. That is a really, really great lyric and a very painful lyric. This is a very emotional record. There's some heavy shit going on here, man. And I thought I was going to be listening to a light, breezy, easygoing Snow Patrol record. And it is that in spots. But there is some heavy stuff happening here lyrically. And it's a bit of a sleepy record, which is to be expected with Snow Patrol. They're not exactly a hard rock or a, a metal act. But there was more energy and punch on here uh, from this record than I expected, especially on tracks like The Beginning. And there are some legit rocky moments happening here as as well like i said nothing too heavy uh this is snow patrol after all but hold me in the fire and years that fall had some legit chuggy guitar stuff going on in there which threw a bone to people like me who want to hear a little bit of riffage uh, when it comes to the records that we're reviewing and i really do think that gary lightbody is a great front man he has a great voice it's really easy to listen to i just enjoyed listening to his voice uh, on this record when he does some of the high stuff he sounds great when he goes low as well especially on songs like everything's here and nothing's lost that was a favorite for me on this record. I broke into your house last night and left a note at your bedside. 
overall, I felt like the album had a, an uplifting kind of sound. There are some hard relationship things happening here, but overall, it was pretty hopeful. Uh, the lyrics get intense uh, on the relationship side of things, but then songs like Your Heart Home had a very uplifting, uh, positive kind of sound, which I really enjoyed. And despite some of the more heavy relationship lyrics on here, like I said, it does end on a more hopeful note, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, there's the title track, The Force is the Path, which I thought was a really great ending track, and then a song called Talking About Hope. It's even in the title, uh, which I had to admit, it actually made me genuinely emotional. I haven't listened to a lot of Snow Patrol in the last little while, but there were some moments on here that I were, uh, where I was genuinely affected emotionally and talking about hope was one of them. And as much as I enjoyed this record, The Force is the Path, I'd have to say on the downside, I would say if you're not really a Snow Patrol fan yet, if you're not somebody who's super into the band, I don't feel like this is the record that's really gonna make you a hardcore uh, Snow Patrol fan. I thought it was enjoyable, but there weren't a ton of songs on here that I would tech, take away and put in my 2024 Spotify playlist. Maybe a couple, but not a ton. And that's okay. At a certain point in every band's career, I think they generally stop appealing so much to a mass audience and then really just start appealing to uh, their fan base. There will always be new fans uh, who jump onto the band. This is the Spotify era after all. There really are always going to be new fans that jump onto a band. Uh, but I think it's okay for a band like Snow Patrol to, to cater to their, to their fans. And even a band like that I talk about a lot uh, here on the channel, Oasis, there was a certain point in their career, I think it was around their fifth album, uh, Heathen Chemistry, where they were just appealing more to Oasis fans than they were going to appeal to a mass audience. Uh, so I think that might be true of Snow Patrol here. I think Snow Patrol fans are really going to be the ones who get the most out of listening to this new record. I can do anything to you. Don't you breathe, I can do most anything to you. But that being said, this is album number eight for Snow Patrol. A lot of bands lose their, their edge when it comes to songwriting production as they get into the later albums. I do not think that is true for this new album from Snow Patrol, The Forest is the Path. I think they still have a knack for uh, catchy and relatable lyrics. There's some solid songwriting and great vocals from Gary Lightbody happening on here. Some great performances. But for me, there's not a ton that I would take away overall from this listen. And like I said, this has been a big year for those sort of established bands from the UK that we've known and loved for a lot of years. Uh, Feeder had a new record, The Libertines, uh, Snow Patrol, Travis, uh, the list goes on. I enjoyed checking in uh, with Snow Patrol. That is the benefit of me doing reviews here on the channel is that I get to listen to some albums from bands that I know and love that maybe I haven't listened to uh, in a while. So I enjoyed this opportunity uh, to to listen to, to Snow Patrol again. And I think this is gonna be a very, a very solid effort for Snow Patrol fans. This is the straw, final straw. In the roof of my mouth as I lie to you. So, as I said, I think this new record from Snow Patrol, The Forest, is the path. It's lush, it's emotional, it's got a lot going on on the lyrical side, some scathing lyrics about the hard side of relationships, but I think overall, this thing comes out on the other side, a very hopeful record, a very enjoyable record to listen to, to and I think that Snow Patrol uh, have done a good job on this one. So I'm gonna give The Forest is the Path from Snow Patrol a 3.5 out of five. And that is it, guys. That is my rock album review for the new album from Snow Patrol. Let me know what you thought of the record in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to toss me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos here on the channel. And make sure to follow me on social media across platforms at Nick Chino Music. And you can follow my band online if you love Oasis, Foo Fighters, Weezer, Smashing Pumpkins, stuff like that. You can check us out at foolsunion.com. But I'll see you guys again for another video here on the channel. Until then, Rock on, everybody.